Hello dear students, today we are solving the ISIM stat paper. For any kind of inquiries, you can uh, get to me directly here. So I will give a direct reply to you. So let's get started first. Uh, the first question is, it's an a, let n be an odd positive integer for any permutation. Sigma of 1, 2, 3, consider this is the product. Okay, then what is P of sigma? So to analyze the product, we must evaluate the possible values of j minus sigma j. This you need to work on. Now, if j equal to sigma j, so j minus sigma j equal to 0. That's for sure. Okay, that's one case. And otherwise, it is non-zero. So now, is me kya karenge? So given that sigma is a permutation, uh, it rearranges the numbers like one, two, dot, 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 n. So uh, the sigma j will never repeat any value, and sigma j is always element of this n. Okay, it will never repeat. Now the result of that, the key insight is in uh, noticing that the that for p sigma to be non-zero, so none of the terms j minus sigma j should be zero. That means j minus not equal to sigma j. This has been established. So, however, because sigma is a permutation of one to n also, so n is odd and uh, n this part is odd. Uh, so there must be at least at least one value of j for which j equal to sigma j. So this is due to the ye kya hai? pigeon hole principle. Kyo? Pigeon hole principle kya hai? If there are 10 birds and if there are 11, uh, sorry, 9 cages, so at least one cage will have more than one birds. So here is always at least one value for j, see j equal to sigma j. So given the permutations of sigma there will always be at least one value so as a result of that we are making the entire product p of sigma equal to zero so correct answer is c so because at least one zero makes the entire thing zero so this is the answer to the first question